always takes the power of God. Someone say the power of God. Power. It takes the power of God. We cannot do without His empowerment. Hallelujah. That's why I love usually speaking about the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Why? Because we need Him. Hallelujah. I need Him. You need Him. Hallelujah. If you have not come to such a point where you recognize your need for the Holy Spirit, then it means you have to do something about your salvation. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. It is impossible to live the life of salvation without the Holy Spirit of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there are some disciples in the Bible. The Bible says that when they met certain apostles, the Bible says, have you heard or have you baptized or have you received the Holy Ghost? And they were like, who are you talking about? We have never even heard the Holy Spirit. We have never heard of someone called the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So they were asking, of, of, in what were you baptized? They say they were baptized in the baptism of John, which is the baptism of repentance. Hallelujah. The Bible says that immediately they were prayed for. Hallelujah. That they might receive the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. So you need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. Say, I need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. So the level of your need will determine the level of your search. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The level of your need will determine the level of your search. Now imagine someone who is thirsty. Now the level in which you are going to look for that water depends on the level in which you are thirsty. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So that, that is what I was talking about um, when we began. It is called our capacity, your capacity. Your capacity determines what you can take in. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I know that we all have different appetites. Hallelujah. Amen. Some have roaring appetites. Hallelujah. Amen. The lion like type of appetites. Hallelujah. Big appetites. Actually, that's a blessing. Hallelujah. Some cannot eat without motivation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some cannot eat without being motivated. Hallelujah. So they must sit in a group to eat. Hallelujah. But I thank God I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. I can eat alone the best I can. I can eat in the group the best I can. Hallelujah. So the word of God is fulfilling me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Amen. So we bless God for today. Hallelujah. So I'm privileged to stand before you. Hallelujah. Amen. And speak to our hearts. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The reason why I love speaking to people's hearts is because I do not engage my mind when you're speaking to, to people's hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you've heard very many testimonies of how people speak in the spirit world. Hallelujah. Amen. They speak heart to heart. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. They speak heart to heart. Hallelujah. They connect. Hallelujah. The deep in you connects to the deep in me. Hallelujah. The ideas in you connect to the ideas in me. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That is how people connect. That is how people communicate. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, what I'm going to touch on is capacity. Hallelujah. Now someone might ask, now what is the importance of capacity? Hallelujah. As I said, people have different appetites. You eat according to your appetite. Hallelujah. Amen. There's someone who can do one plate. There's someone who can do two. Hallelujah. Amen. That means they have different capacities. Hallelujah. Amen. So, depending on your capacity, um, uh, your capacity will determine how much you take. Hallelujah. So, when God enlarges your capacity, then you're going to take in more of Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when I'm talking about capacity, I'm concentrating on our mind. The mentality, hallelujah. Some call it mentality, hallelujah. Amen. Now, we, can, we do know, we all know that your environment affects your mentality, hallelujah. Amen. Now, this is what I usually believe, that um, your thinking is shaped according to where you live. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So, if you live in Kayole, it means then your thinking is limited to how Kayole works. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So you cannot think like people who um, live somewhere in Moja or something. Praise the name of Jesus. Because your mind has been shaped 
Hallelujah. Depending on your environment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Depending on your environment. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the question is, how can we come up with it? Let's just say um, you are living in a place or you're in an environment where people are small-minded. Small-minded means their capacity is lower. Hallelujah. Because your capacity allows you to sprout out. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot go beyond your thinking. You cannot go beyond your mentality. Hallelujah. There is something very good that Jesus Christ said in the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. We are going to start there. It is in Matthew 28, a very common scripture. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. But it is Lord and power. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is teaching such a fundamental thing. Hallelujah. So we see Jesus Christ is telling, um, he's doing something. And that is what God usually does. Because you cannot grow beyond your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus. Beyond your mentality. So your mentality has to come to another level. Hallelujah. The Bible says that you grow from one faith to another level of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. How? The Bible says even by beholding. Hallelujah. Beholding his glory. Hallelujah. Even as you behold his glory. Hallelujah. You rise to a capacity to where Christ operated in. To a level, to a dimension where Christ operated in. How? By beholding. So it means you do not see with your physical eyes. It means you are seeing with your internal eyes and that which is your mind. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So for you to arise from one faith, even unto another faith, it takes your mentality. Hallelujah. It takes your knowledge. How much do you know? Hallelujah. Or what do you know? It depends with revelation. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. For you to move from one faith, for you to move from one grace, even unto another grace, it takes mentality. Hallelujah. Your mentality has to change. You cannot operate in a previous mentality and move in a higher level or dimension. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. If I can remember our brother was talking about dimensions. Hallelujah. For two Sundays straight. Hallelujah. He's still talking about dimension. And that is what I come to understand. That you cannot go to another dimension if you are still operating in that previous mentality that you had. Hallelujah. If you are thinking like Egyptians, you cannot live in Canaan. Hallelujah. If you are still thinking of the onions in Egypt, you cannot, you cannot move or you cannot eat the grapes that are in Canaan. Hallelujah. So you have to let go of one. Hallelujah. You cannot operate in those two mentalities. You cannot operate in those two capacities. Hallelujah. You have to let go of one. Hallelujah. You have to move forward. You cannot move forward if you are thinking of your past. If you are thinking of what people have done to you. If you are doing that, it means you are operating in a lower mentality. In such a mentality, the power of God cannot move. Hallelujah. Now, the people that have moved in anointings can testify that you cannot operate in a higher anointing if you are thinking backwardly. Hallelujah. Because the people that are thinking, your focus is what will determine your direction. Hallelujah. The people, because when the people wanted to move to Canada, they say that why did you bring us here? You, so you can see of their mentality. Such a mentality brought complaining. And we do know that complaining and murmuring is sin. And the people that do that, God destroy them. We can see that from the letter of um, the first Corinthians, I believe it's verse 10. Hallelujah. He says that he destroyed they that sin. Which sin did they sin? They murmur. Hallelujah. They complain. Hallelujah. That's why God has to enlarge your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now this is what Jesus Christ said in Matthew 28. Look at what Christ is doing. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to start from Matthew 28, verse 18. The Bible says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Imagine they are in somewhere in Galilee. And Jesus Christ is talking about nations. What is Christ saying? Or what is Christ trying to do? He is trying to reshape their mentality. So they were not just to think Galilee. 
Hallelujah. They were not just to think Galilee, they were supposed to think nations. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So we can see that it takes the word of God for you to increase in your capacity, for you to increase in your mentality. Your mentality has to change for you to fulfill your purpose. Hallelujah. So that is why Christ gave those what he says that go in therefore and teach all nations. He did not tell them go and teach in Galilee. Hallelujah. They were supposed to operate in a higher mentality. Praise the name of Jesus. They were supposed to be nations minded. Hallelujah. Now why should you be nations minded? Because if you are small minded, you are going to do small. Hallelujah. If you are Galilean minded, you are going to behave the way Galileans behave. Hallelujah. But if you are nations minded, you will be interested to know how the world operates. Hallelujah. How nations operate. Hallelujah. You will pray more. Hallelujah. That is one benefit of having a higher mentality. Hallelujah. Of an improved, of an increased mentality. Hallelujah. It increases your prayers. Now imagine you have two people as your assignment. God has given you two people. And another person has been given ten people. Now tell me, who will labor more? Who will pray more? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Obviously, it is the person who has been given greater assignment or greater responsibility. Hallelujah. That's why it is important for a child of God to improve. Hallelujah. The Bible says that we have to be transformed. Hallelujah. In the spirit of your mind. Praise the name of Jesus. You have to be transformed in the spirit of your mind by the word of God. That's why Jesus Christ spoke to them. Hallelujah. So it takes the word of God. You must be a lover of the word of God for you to change your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says in Joshua 1 and 8, it says that this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. It shall not depart from your mouth. It means you have to speak it. Hallelujah. You have to matter it. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. You have to speak it for you because what you say transform your mind. Hallelujah. What you speak is what you are thinking. The Bible says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So your mentality has to improve. You do not have to think on your territory where you are living in. You have to think nationally. Hallelujah. Now, your assignment has to go higher. Because when your assignment goes higher, if you have higher responsibility, it means you're going to labor more. Hallelujah. Yeah. It means you're going to see God more. Hallelujah. Just as I say, the capacity of your appetite will determine how much you eat. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So once you enter into the word, you dwell in the place of the word. The Bible says that let the word of God dwell in you richly. Why? Because when the word of God is in you, I tell you, it is going to increase your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. It is going to increase your capacity. So you are going to hold more power. Hallelujah. Because in the word of God is light. Hallelujah. Light to do what? Light to give you revelation. Because it is by revelation that we increase in capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The more the light comes into your eyes, Hallelujah. The more you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. The more you are going to see God. You are going to see Christ in his glory. Because once you see him in that glory, you are going to transform. Hallelujah. Into another faith. Hallelujah. You are going to transform from one grace even into another grace. Hallelujah. Even by beholding. So you have to consider what you watch. You have to consider what you think. You have to consider what you desire. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God must be so close to you. Hallelujah. You must be in a place of prayer so that God through his Holy Spirit who is in you is going to enlarge your capacity so you can receive more from God because when more anointing moves in you, hallelujah, you're going to do greater exploits. The Bible says that they that know their God shall do exploits. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So it takes knowledge. It takes intimacy with God. Hallelujah. The more you are intimate with God, now the character of God is going to be brushed into you. Hallelujah. The more you are intimate with God, the more you're going to understand according to how God wants you to understand. The more you are intimate with God, the more he's going to try transfer his will into you. He's going to transfer his desire into you. He's going to transfer into you 
what he is planning, his purpose, hallelujah. And that is what is going to increase your capacity, hallelujah. Because once your capacity is increasing, I tell you, the power of God is going to move through you, hallelujah. Your capacity is like that door, hallelujah. The smaller it is, now the lesser the things can come in, hallelujah. That's why our capacity has to be increased. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Your capacity has to increase. The Bible says that He's going to do exceedingly abundant. That talks about God, His ability, how unlimited the, the Lord is. But we are, it is we who limit Him. The Bible says that do not limit God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. How did the Israelites limit God? They limited Him by their unbelief. Hallelujah. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing. Hallelujah. By the hearing of believing. Hallelujah. By the hearing of believing, you believe. Hallelujah. Once you hear, once you believe, you put it into your heart. You consider it into your heart. The Bible says that, that your word have I hidden in my heart so that I will not sin against you. Hallelujah. So once you do such things, you value the word of God inside your heart. Hallelujah. It's going to increase your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And when your capacity is increased, I tell you, the power of God is going to move through you in a great and a mighty way. Hallelujah. Amen. So, that is why the writer of Joshua says, meditate upon the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Meditating upon the word of God increases your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. It increases your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That's why we have to be lovers of the word of God. We have to dwell in the word of God. Meditate upon the word of God. Day and night, the Bible says, Hallelujah, so that you will prosper, so that you will be careful to do, Hallelujah, according to what God has said, so that you will prosper in whatsoever you do, Hallelujah. So you want to prosper in your ministry, you want to prosper, you have to change your mentality. And how do we do that? By meditating upon the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. By meditating upon the word of God. Hallelujah. So, that is why we pray the prayer that we pray that God increase our capacity. Your capacity has to be increased. You have to think nationally. Hallelujah. You have to be nations minded. Hallelujah. Your ministry, for your ministry to increase, for your ministry to break forth on every side. Hallelujah. Your mentality has to improve. Hallelujah. You have to think nations. Don't just think persons. Think nations. Because once you start thinking nations, you are going to pray for nations. Hallelujah. There are prayers for individuals and there are prayers for nations. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Such like these two people are very different. Even though they are in the same place, but they are different. How? Because one is operating in a higher dimension. Hallelujah. He is in a better chance of operating in a higher dimension. Why? Because he has so much. Now, capacity is like a container. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The bigger you come with, Hallelujah. The more you get in, the more you receive. Hallelujah. Now that reminds me of the, the woman or the widow in Zarephath. The Bible says that the man of God asked her to bring more and more containers. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So that God's provision can come into her life. Hallelujah. Because that speaks to me of God telling her, increase your capacity, hallelujah. Increase your capacity, praise the name of Jesus, so that God's provision can come into you. You cannot come with one bucket, hallelujah, or a cup and expect God to fill you with a gallon of anointing. Praise the name of Jesus Christ, it does not work that way. You have to increase your capacity. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. We increase our capacity, as I say, through meditating upon the word of God. Hallelujah. Meditating in the word of God. Being intimate with God. Hallelujah. You want to do exploits. Hallelujah. You have to be intimate with God. Once you speak with God, the more you speak with God, the more your capacity will increase. Hallelujah. Because God, the Bible says, that He speaks those things as though it were. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. God does not look at situations. The Bible says that it's going to cause rivers to flow into the desert. That does not mean when he was speaking, 
that place was not a desert. It was a desert, but God was not looking into that. He had the eyes of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So for you to increase your capacity, you must have the eyes of faith. You must speak the things as though they were. Hallelujah. You must speak faith. Hallelujah. Faith has to come from your lips. And the Bible says that we believe. That's why we speak. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible also says that faith comes by hearing. And by hearing by the word of God. So without the word of God, forget faith. And without faith, forget your capacity being increased. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now that is what Daddy wanted us to hear today. Praise the name of Jesus. I bless the Lord for you all. Thank you so much. I'm going to invite our brother to take us through. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you.